What is going on, Jerome's second Vikings Titans uh, joint practice is in the books ahead of their Saturday evening preseason game at Historic US Bank Stadium. There was some interesting things going on. There was some fights. There was some. There was. There was a lot of things. So recapping: uh, number one, fight, fight, fight. So it, it is a hallmark of uh, joint practices. I don't know why. Where on one hand you like to see the passion and aggression. Number two. <sighs> It's so stupid because if you get in a fight in a, in a game, you're going to get penalized, potentially kicked out of the game, and you just hurt your team. So you should be able to control your emotions. Like, what can another human being do or say to you that's just going to set you off? I I, I don't understand it. But uh, uh, Tier Tart, uh, Titans defensive tackle, he punched Garrett Bradbury. And then Bradbury uh, showing off his wrestling skills from uh, Charlotte area high schools from back in the day. Uh, wrestled uh, Tart down to the ground uh, and Tart eventually was kicked off uh off the field by Rabel so kind of cool to see uh but also I, I like that the Vikings were ending the fight as opposed to starting the fight uh Christian Derisa woo woo he's a man he is 40 uh he is rising up becoming one of the best left tackles in the game he absolutely just destroyed Arden Key's spin move and he just he's literally just a man playing amongst the little kids it's kind of awesome to see man We've been waiting for a long time to have uh, a really good left tackle, and Darius is it. The offensive line in general sort of got battered about the ears, uh, especially on the interior by Jeffrey Simmons and company yesterday. I mean, Simmons still got his today, uh, but overall it was a much better showing uh, by the offensive line, especially in situational drills where the Vikings scored twice uh, during the simulations. And uh, overall, it's a really good day. Like Tennessee does have a really good defensive interior, uh, and hopefully they'll, they'll show up and show out on game day on Saturday. Uh, Kirk and JJ put on a show. Like Justin Jefferson is just uncoverable, right? And yeah, Kristen Fulton had an interception of Kirk, but Kirk was dropping dimes all over the place. Uh, JJ was running free uh, all over. Uh, KJ was getting his too. So uh, it was a really, really good practice for uh, eight and eighteen. Uh, that's a battery that Duracell, yeah, you know what to do. Number five, uh, Tristan Jackson is back, man. So uh, after being carted off with a scary-looking knee injury, avoided ligament damage, and he's done really well the last couple of practices, uh, scoring in one-on-ones, uh, in team drills as well. Uh, he really does just have a, a knack for understanding the sidelines and body control, and he, he's done really good. And I, I think that uh, Tristan Jackson uh, is going to be making a, a push uh, to uh, make this 53-man rooster. It's going to be tight uh, because Jalen Rager uh, and Brandon Powell and also Nikhil Harry are going to be in the mix as well. But I think Trishan uh, has er certainly earned himself a much closer look. Uh, Nikhil Harry has been impressive so far. So so the former first-round pick, uh, former Patriot, former Crooked Chicago Bear has come in. He's looked really good, and he is that big-bodied uh, red zone receiver that the Vikings don't currently have on the roster. So I think that he could find himself a niche uh, at 6'4", 225. Also, his blocking skills are impeccable, and especially when he works from the slot. Uh, so keep an eye out for Nikhil Harry as well. Uh, seven, Osborne ain't going away. So with Jordan Addison out, KJ's uh, giving free reign uh, with the ones, and... KJ's making plays. Him and Kirk obviously still have that chemistry going for the last couple years. And I think that he has looked dynamite, man. And I know that Addison is getting all the attention, but don't sleep on KJ. Like, you can make a good case that KJ was the wide receiver two last year in crunch time. And 17, doing it and doing it and doing it well. Uh, number eight, Andrew Booth Jr. had an interception off of Malik Willis. Uh, but, then, but then Booth chucked the ball at the Titans sideline and got a penalty and got his ass chewed out. It's just so stupid where you made a play. Congratulations. What are you doing? It's just super frustrating. And Booth has worked through a myriad of injuries before. And when he's been on the field, it's been hot and cold, but he does have that talent, but it's just so stupid. Uh, like you finally made a play. Congratulations. Uh, stop acting like a child. It's just, Oh, uh, if you want to make this team, you can't have that. And cornerback wise, even though there was a couple dings with Blackman and Evans that we'll get to, but if you want to make this team act like it, just ridiculous, stupid. Uh, nine, Makai Blackman walked off with an arm injury. Uh, was in the medical tent. Um, Brian Flores didn't elaborate. Just said that uh, he did have a uh, he got dinged up. So it's a fortune to see. Uh, would love to see him uh, Saturday uh, against the Titans in the preseason game. Uh, then injury updates. 
So no Addison uh, in concussion protocol. Hopefully he's going to be back on Monday. No King Kenne still missing. No Jalen Naylor still missing. Asamoa is still out. Uh, Garrett Mogg, the UDFA from uh, UND, is out. Hawkinson uh, was dressed uh, but was limited. Uh, Jaqueline Roy returned for individual drills. Uh, pro- he says he's probably not going to play on Saturday, but hopefully to return next week for joint practices with the Cardinals. Uh, and then uh, Caleb Evans and Josh Metellus collided in the end zone. And... Uh, they, they pulled uh, a Caleb Evans. Of course, Evans uh, of the three concussions last year, super concerning. But yeah, it just kind of kind of sucks right now. Uh, Blackman and Evans, you know, two guys that are probably going to be either starting or certainly in the mix uh, with the ones uh, at cornerback, uh, both getting dings uh, relatively late in training camp. But uh, that's it. That's uh, that's Vikings Titans practice recap number two. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.